Hey everybody, Steve here. Welcome to a brand new video series. And in this series, I am going to attempt to build an FPV racing quadcopter. This build is gonna be based off of this Hollybro Kakute F7. And for those of you who don't know the channel, I have been in the drones for almost 10 years. However, my experience has predominantly been in much, much larger uh, aerial videography and photography platforms. I'm relatively new to building FPV racers, so uh, this is going to be more of an exercise of can I get it done and will it fly, more so than a how-to video. So I'm going to invite you on my journey to see if I can't take a big box of parts and turn it into something that flies. And the message that I like to get across on this channel is if I can do it, anybody can do it. So come on, take a journey with me and let's see if at the end of this video series we're not up there flying. Let's get started. All right, this, this build is going to be based on this Kakute F7. This is the all-in-one version, which is a bit of a misnomer because when you hear all-in-one, you think that it would contain everything. But the reality is, as it pertains to the flight controller, the all-in-one really makes reference to the fact that it's the flight controller and the power distribution board, and it's got uh, it's also got the OSD built into it already. Uh, ESCs are separate, so all-in-one. And there's another version of this board that is not an all-in-one. So that is going to be our flight controller. So let's talk about all of the things that we're going to need for this build. Um, let's start with the obvious. This is a frame. It's a carbon fiber frame. So there's actually nothing special at all about this frame. It's actually a little bit on the older side. Uh, however, I didn't have anything newer at the time. So this is what I'm going to go with. All right, so that's the frame. Definitely going to need one of those guys. We already talked about the flight controller. This is the receiver right here. This is a FreeSky or FR Sky RXSR. Um, essentially, look at how small this little guy is. There he is right there. So, this is an FR Sky D16 protocol receiver. It's got 16 channels, S bus, telemetry, and it's tiny, 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 and super lightweight. So, cool receiver there. So here we've got four motors and they come in boxes of two. One is a clockwise, one is a counterclockwise. And the specs on these motors right here, these are X2204, they're 2300 kV. This build that I'm going to be doing is going to be a 4S build. So 2300 kV and there's four of these guys. Because of the configuration of this particular all-in-one flight controller, I'm going to be using four speed controllers, electronic speed controllers, also known as ESCs. For these, I chose the Emacs Formula Series. They're BL Heli 32s. All right, also some odds and ends for the quadcopter. Obviously, we're going to need propellers. So I've got, I haven't decided whether I'm going with those guys or these guys yet, but either way, propellers. All right, so I got a very fairly common 4S battery right here. Obviously, you're gonna hit, it's, it's a good idea to have more. And then for our FPV stuff, here's the FPV camera that I'll be using, CAD-X, and it's got a 2.1 millimeter lens. And one thing about cameras is make sure that you know what the voltage is for your camera. Uh, this one's five volts to 40 volts, so I'll be fine. Um, I have used the smaller cameras, three volt one, I think, and I smoked it. So that's a mistake that you make once. Oh, so also residing on the quadcopter, this is uh, 600 milliwatt. Lumineer TX5G Pro 32, blah, blah, blah. You can kind of see what it is right here. Links to get all of the stuff will be included in the description below. Those are affiliate links, which means I get a tiny little commission every time you buy something, which doesn't cost you any extra. It's just uh, the retailer's way of saying thank you to me for sending people their way. And oh, by the way, I buy all this stuff with my own money. I am not sponsored by anybody. This is my own money. And those affiliate links help me to purchase items so that I can make more videos. So what I've got here is just a bunch of various things that you may or may not need in any particular build. You're gonna need some, uh, 14 gauge silicone wire uh, so that you can make your connections for your batteries. Um, heat shrink. You know, if you are just starting out and you got to order all these parts and it's going to take a couple weeks for stuff to get, get to you anyways, um, you might as well start out with miles of heat shrink. It'll serve you well. But like I said, if you are planning in advance, it probably wouldn't hurt you uh, to have some M3 and M2.5 nuts and washers and maybe some of these shorter screws handy these guys these little guys right here are standoffs and i've got lots and lots of them because it seems like you buy frames and they don't come with 
the things that they're supposed to come with. Here's another thing that you're going to want to have on hand prior to your first build that will help you get through your first build much easier are these nylon standoffs of different sizes uh, and then there's the nuts for the standoffs and then over here is another packet that's got a bunch of uh, nuts and it's got a bunch of nylon screws. So. All right, so that's pretty much the main stuff that I'm going to be using in this F7 build. I will have an exhaustive list of things that you can buy uh, in the description below uh, so that we don't leave any stone unturned. And speaking of not leaving any stone unturned, you're going to want to get yourself a radio. This is the Radio Master TX 16S 16 channel radio. Lots and lots of three position switches. This is a multi protocol radio, which means that uh, you can buy receivers that are Fly Sky, FR Sky, Spectrum, and about 70 other different protocols as well. So, anyhow, this thing is infinitely programmable. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. As a matter of fact, it's so amazing. I have a how-to playlist on this radio that is well over 10 videos long, so I'll leave a link to uh, that playlist in the description. I think it's safe to say that most people won't outgrow this radio, and uh, pretty much it'll do whatever you need it to do, and if it won't do that, then you can learn how to program it to do even more. And if you're not interested in doing, if you're not interested in making that kind of commitment, that's okay too, because it's awesome right out of the box. Do me a favor, I'm very excited about this F7 build, so be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so that you get notifications of future videos as soon as they come out. And uh, be on the lookout for the rest of this series, which I'm very much looking forward to. And then after that, we're going to do another F7 build. And then after that, I've actually got ideas for about 386 more videos. So uh, be sure to subscribe. And uh, if you got benefit out of this video, please do me a favor, share it on social media. Tell somebody about it. I appreciate you sticking with me to the end and uh, looking forward to seeing you in the next video.